The White House calling on Democrats to come to the table as the clock is ticking for lawmakers to reach a deal with federal workers due to miss, miss another payday this Friday. Here are some specifics of the president's proposal. $5.7 million for a border barrier. In exchange, he offers three years of protection for some illegal immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. Protection for immigrants who came to the U.S. from countries hit by disasters and an additional $800 million in humanitarian aid. Vice President Mike Pence says the ball is now in Democrats' court. The legislative process is a negotiation. And uh, up to this point, literally for the last month, while the president and I have stayed here in Washington and, and been engaging continuously uh, with Democrat leadership, uh, and with uh, rank and file members in the House and Senate. Um, what we've heard again and again is we will not negotiate until the president reopens the government. But House Majority Whip James Clyburn says the plan does not address Democrats' concern about DACA. Watch this. We are all for negotiating, and we would love uh, to have a permanent fix for DACA and TPS. Uh, just says he wants a permanent wall. I think it's a non-starter for him to ask for a permanent wall and for us to have a temporary fix. This is the kind of stuff we want to sit down and put some stability in people's lives and have some permanent solutions uh, to this immigration problem. And the president seems to want to continue to play games with us. Okay, David, so what was so interesting about that, if you dissect what he right. said— he said that this is a non-starter. What we want is to sit down and find permanent solutions. Wait a second. <laughs> How can both those things be true? Because what the president, it seems, is trying to do is get both sides to the table with something that each side would love and something that each side would hate. So sit down. You know, he says he wants something permanent. Okay, so start there. Sit down and say, fine, I'll take that, but you got to make it permanent. And the other side says, okay, but then we also want this. How do they not see that this is an attempt? Get everybody to the table and start saying what you want instead of saying, no, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, because instead of the art of the political deal, what's going on from the Democrats now is how do we say no and get both bites at the apple? Clyburn is lying, by the way. There's no other way to say it because what's being offered for DACA, and while I wish they would lower and restrict the age limits on this, if you're 35 years old, you should not be participating in this. By doing border security, you reduce the number of incoming additional unaccompanied children, the more people that will participate in DACA because DACA could literally expand to some 4.1 million people being brought into this. So mitigate the problem. Yeah, I don't like it, but we're going to have to do something for the DACA participants, mm -hmm. but we should narrow focus it. The Democrats say, Pelosi says, I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you two dollars. This is a stupid game. The American people are paying the price, and the Democrats, and I'll say this flat out, because I talked to the president last week about this. He is not going to give on this because the American people deserve security and the Democrats are not willing to negotiate he on things they agree with. He won't give on the barrier, but he's showing he'll give on DACA. And it's getting harder and harder for Democrats, I think, to hold together and say there's nothing you could possibly give us. Um, that would make this worthwhile. There's been a number of people out there who have suggested maybe you go with a PR campaign where you have some groups put together ads. They run on normal stations, mm -hmm. not for people out there who watch us and watch the other political stations that are engaged, but maybe you put it on local, local news, news yeah. and, and in the commercials, and you put down like all the people, what they've said to support it, every Democrat along the way, and you get things like um, Congressman Benny Simpson saying, well... I don't know, maybe Thompson, sorry, Thompson, saying maybe we, there is room for something here. Listen to this and then respond. I would not rule out a wall in certain instances. Now, the notion that we can't have barriers uh, uh, is just something that's not true. But again, Martha, you have to have a plan. And, and the plan that the president initially started with is not where he is now. And so we don't know where he will be tomorrow. 
Okay, so I've heard that exact phrase. That must be in some talking points. I don't know. I don't. Set, I set never out. read yeah. talking points that are sent to me. I think that's yeah. pretty clear. <laughs> but so, they send them out, which is the point. Well, but they, it's they this thing he may be here now, but we don't know where he'll be tomorrow. Right. Well, because you know the argument is he said on the campaign trail, right. Mexico's going to pay for the wall, all this other stuff. Okay, that very well may be the case, but we have to live in reality right now, and this is what's on the table, and we have to react to what that is. And I think that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are going to face just what we saw from from this member of Congress, that the rank and file members, particularly those Democrats that are in districts where Trump was successful, um, they're going to start to defect and say, well, you know, we're, we're going to lose SNAP benefits, food stamps, for example, starting February 1st. Um, there's going to be significant impact on our communities. And frankly, people did support this border security wall right. stuff. So I think what's going to happen is there's going to come, come a time where there's going to be pressure from the bottom up. Yeah. And at some point, we're going to have to move forward. Now, I was the minority leader in the, in, at the state level um, for a number of years. And, and I think this, I get the fact that it's okay. They want something permanent for a permanent structure. But you've got to put your foot, you've got to get your foot in the door. And I can't tell yeah. you the number of times in negotiations where we did things like, we're, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with a pilot program, for example, see what happens in two years. And then it's harder to take something away once you yeah. have it. And that's important. Can I, can I, can I, hang on one second. He's also pushing on the Republican side. And Kenny, I'll ask you this. He's pushing on the Republican side to come further with stuff that they've hated, too. I mean, if you guys could put up his tweet about they're saying, you know, no, it's amnesty. We, Republicans don't want amnesty. And he says, no, amnesty is not part of my offer. It is a three year extension of DACA. Amnesty will be used only on a much bigger deal, whether on immigration or something else. Likewise, there will be no push to remove the 11 million plus people who are here illegally. But be careful, Nancy. And here he's also laying out things that Republicans have well, said. Can no I, to. I just I will be really okay. brief. He is talking about a bigger immigration deal, number one, at yeah. least temporary protection mm -hmm. for dreamers. And Ann Coulter hates it. What's not to love if you're a Democrat? Ann Coulter hates it because, you know, and, and again, it's, it's an empty semantic argument between amnesty and the wall. You can't say wall with Democrats because you'll give them the vapors. And you can't say <laughs> amnesty to Republicans or some hardliners' heads will explode. But what you have essentially left, when you take those two terms out, are, you know, it, the, the groundwork for real immigration right. reform, which is yes. so incredibly necessary right now. And I'll tell you why, because the executive orders that President Obama uh, drafted, those are so easy to undo. And, and it really does leave a flimsy legacy. And, and Democrats should be very concerned about that. And Jim Clyburn is right and that there needs to be a long-term solution. But you don't get that unless you craft a law. And you can't craft a law unless you have lawmakers come to the table and write something together and they've got split houses they're going to have to work together here and saying something so like logical well, it's well, going to take four weeks so we well, might as well do nothing it doesn't make any sense you can actually and i i would like someone to press him on that because yeah. that is illogical you can have a temporary fix and work out a long-term solution yes. that's what they have done on a, a number of other issues and it would be great if they took criminal justice reform as a template and applied it here because there are so many areas of agreement that would make immigration much less chaotic in this country. But in order to have agreement, you have to have honesty. And let's be real about this. The pretense by Democrats on security over the years, border security, a complete system, the CPB analysis that was given to the Democrats before the meeting with Pelosi and Schumer, the 5.7 billion, the different hundreds of millions applied to humanitarian technology, et cetera. The pretense over the years by Schumer and all of them is that they want border security, and now they're playing games with wall or steel slats. The fact is the steel slats were what was put into that assessment. And now they're going to pretend they're against it. It's a farce. Democrats but, but don't want to solve Republicans the problem. have had a chance, too, to go in and have total immigration reform, Absolutely. like right after the election. They let that go as well. And I think maybe, Dagan, that's the president's point when he puts all these things out here is everybody's failed. There's a ton of blame to go around. Yes. Let's mm -hmm. all sit down and you can make a deal where everybody gets something they want and something they hate. You have to give more to right. get more. He laid out a, an initial 
negotiating position. And the expectation is, and, but in the that the Democrats will step up to the table and they will sit down and try and hash something out. But again, this is Washington, where it's upside down and bananas 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the way that they operate doesn't make sense to the American people. But I will tell you this, there's a lot going on, and it's not just about the furloughed workers and the workers who are not getting paid, those 800,000 people. This is... Uh, government contractors who can't pay their employees. This is TSA agents who aren't showing up for work. A eight percent of them called out over the weekend. This is long lines at airports. This is two billion dollars in small business loans that and, are not and getting federal law enforcement. Made, that, but that's again, hamstrung. if every American should be disgusted by this display down in Washington, and they all ought to grow up. Okay, if we could only. Okay, but I just want to. I, 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 I just want to add something very, very quickly because if you are one of those people who sideline, one of those federal workers, or or if, if you are one of the dreamers and you've got a, a president who's saying, OK, here is a solution for all of you. And all Democrat leadership is doing is saying, no, I would be very frustrated. Regardless of my party affiliation, I would be very frustrated yeah. that the people who have I, the power to talk about something. That's the risk I that the want Democrats every, are taking. Right. I want Which every I Democrat dangerous. to have to answer the question that Brett Baer posed to Steny Hoyer. OK, you're not going to fund new barrier wall, whatever you want to call it. Do you want to take down the wall that's there? That's yeah. an important Period. question. And, and they go, God, well, well. Maria asked that question. That's how they do. On the long I love lines, that. Uh, that would have been a more intelligible okay. answer, actually. All right, we've got to go. four times in the last week. And I have yet to come okay. across a long line at TSA. Okay, well, Four you're lucky. Four times out of four it's, major airports. The 